Hi, this is Kelly with Jesus Italian Kitchen. I am outside at my garden. I'm gonna show you the different varieties of tomatoes that I have because your tomatoes are probably going crazy just like mine are. I have a few different varieties and I'm gonna show you which is which and then we're gonna go inside and make a really easy tomato sauce when you don't have time to make the full blown Sunday marinara. So let me show you what you got. Okay, so here is a portion of my garden with the tomato plants. So let's zoom in a little here. So these are little cherry tomatoes and they're so cute because they're kind of like an orange yellow, but they're ready to eat. They're so delicious. Actually, I'm gonna eat this in just a second. Then we've got some San Marzano. So this is typically what you would see for making sauce, either in a can or fresh. They're kind of cone shaped with a little fatter bottom, super cute. Oh, we've got a lot of red, orange, and greens. Now these are gonna to get to be more of a bright red when they're ready to be picked. And then I also have some Romas, which I also love. These are just great for eating. These are more circular, more like the shape of a small beef steak. You can use these for sauce as well, but they are delicious for sandwiches or just munching on with some balsamic and sea salt. You can make a roasted uh, sauce with these. I've done these for um, like a vegetable lasagna. Today we're gonna do mostly the San Marzanos to make our veggie sauce. So we're gonna head over to the herb garden and see what we're gonna pick. So this is my other garden. This is my herb garden that you may have seen in the spring when we were looking at if these were alive or not. Uh, this is the garden where the herbs come back. So we've got sage, thyme, and oregano. And then I have asparagus planted way down there that uh, I'm hoping is gonna come up in the next couple of years. But these are the plants, uh, depending on what zone you're on, but these are the plants in the Midwest that do come back every year. So I have these in a separate garden because they're gonna stay here, hibernate over the winter, and then they're gonna come back. So the sage, if you remember, looked super, super sad in the winter and the spring, and now it's going so crazy and beautiful. The thyme plant as well is going crazy. So for this veggie tomato sauce that we're gonna make, I'm gonna cut some of the thyme. A few sprigs. And a little bit of our fresh oregano. Now you can see the flowers on the top here. We don't want those, just like your basil. They're pretty uh, on these plants, the oregano, but we don't want, oh, actually no, those, there's no flowers on there. Here, this one, and let me show you this. See these pretty purple flowers? Those are like the white flowers that you get on the top of your basil plant. You don't want these. So we're gonna take the beautiful oregano leaves for our sauce, but not those flowers. Okay, so we've got our herbs. We've got our fresh thyme, fresh oregano, so the oregano is super, I'm sorry, the thyme is super easy to get off of this. You can just take your finger, slide it off the stem, nice and clean, it's awesome. So we're gonna take a few of these sprigs and put them into the bowl. And the thyme is so tiny that you actually don't even need to cut it up. You certainly can, but the little leaves are so little and cute that you really, you don't need to especially since we're gonna put this in our sauce. These are going to mix with our tomatoes and some olive oil and some other ingredients, which we'll show you in a few minutes. And then we're gonna end up blending it up to make the sauce after we've roasted our tomatoes. So we don't really need to cut these because they will get, get cut in the cloisonard eventually. Okay, so I'm doing several sprigs obviously, to uh, get like a heaping tablespoon because we're going to use a whole tray sheet pan of tomatoes and I want lots of these fresh herbs to be flavoring my sauce. So the sauce we're going to make is a vegetarian sauce, so there's no meat, which uh, the meat really does flavor the sauce a lot. So without that, we want to make sure we have adequate uh, flavor from our herbs and spices. Okay, I think that's good. So then we're gonna take the oregano. 
So like I showed you outside, you've got the purple flowers. We don't want those. So we want just the pretty oregano leaves, these guys. And these, since they are a little bigger, I am gonna give these a rough chop. So I'm gonna take all the leaves off of this and then I am gonna give this a rough chop. Again, it is gonna get mixed once we get into the Quasin art and with the tomatoes, but I'm gonna just break it up a little bit anyway. Okay, and then we'll prepare our tomatoes.